In this video, we show you how to set up your Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Assuming you've inserted the battery and the SIM card, you can now switch your device on for the first time. You need to press and hold the power button on the right hand side of the device for a couple of seconds. You'll feel a vibration and the screen will illuminate with the Google logo. The initial switch on of this device will take longer on the first occasion than any future occasions when you switch the device on. It is advised at this stage that you input all of the settings required. You can skip this, but it is advisable to get maximum use and functionality from your device. So here we are at the welcome screen. We have the option to change the language should we choose. If you choose the language of your choice, the welcome screen language will change. We will stick with English. We do have the option to go straight to the dialer to make an emergency call, but we will proceed with the setup process. We then click start. Ideally, you wish to activate your Galaxy Nexus with a Google account. You do have the option not to do this now, and you can do it at a later stage. If you don't have a Google account already, you can set one up from the phone itself. You can also set one of these up from the internet. However, this video assumes that you do have a Google account already. It's free to sign up and you click sign in. Now, the device needs to have an internet connection to connect to your Google account on the internet. So it will automatically go and search for a wireless network if you have one or alternatively it will use a 3G network of your SIM card inserted if that has 3G capability. If it has no connectivity options it will skip the setup process at this time. If it powers off like so just press the power button. So I'm going to select the wireless network. Now need to input my passcode So it's now connecting to my wireless network. It has now connected as we can see. So it's now allowing me to sign into my Google account. So I will put in my username or email address. You then need to enter your password. Once happy, click done or sign in and the sign in process will now begin. This can take a few minutes depending on the connectivity and the amount of data that it has to download. But we can see that this is now connected with my Google account and it's asked would I like to join Google Plus, one of Google's social service options. So I have the ability to join Google Plus now or not now. I'm actually going to skip this process because this is not necessary. You also then have the ability to input details for Android Market or Android Play as it's otherwise known. And these include your card details and by putting these details in now you can ensure that future purchases of applications and content is easier and quicker. You can always add this at a later date if you choose when you go into the market. So I'm actually going to skip this. And you then have the option of backing up or restoring your phone with your Google account. You do not have to have these boxes checked we strongly advise that you have your device back up to Google Cloud Services because should you lose your device, you can restore this data within a few minutes to another mobile device or indeed access it online. If it does not back up automatically, things such as your contacts, your calendar appointments may be lost if you were to lose your device 
and you would need to obtain that data again but the only place it would be is on the actual mobile device. So we can check these boxes and go through to next. Now because I have a Google account that I've entered, it's going online to see if it can pull down any information about my account. If it can, it will bring this information down to the phone. If it doesn't, that's fine. You can enter your information such as contacts at a later date and start populating your Google account. So it's asking about location services. It's entirely up to you, but using GPS location uh, will assist with things like Google searches and what have you. So I'm going to agree to this. You can then put in some additional information to personalize uh, your phone and your applications. I'm going to leave this as uh, these default information here that's pulled down from my Google account but you can change this if you wish. So the phone is now ready to use. I can go back and make changes or I can indeed finish the setup. The device has now booted through to the home screen and on this first boot up it's given me some tips about how to actually use the device. So I can skip out of that and that is the device now booted and set up for the first time ready for use.